friends, uh, today we will see how to take a site server backup uh, in ACCM Configuration Manager. Uh, so when you need to take a site server backup, uh, uh, we generally recommend to do it uh, every day at night at around uh, at 2 a.m. or something. Uh, this will help you to restore quickly if there are any issues. Or if you have, or if you are going to do any upgrade of your ACCM infrastructure, then it's better to take a site server backup. Okay. So by default, the site server backup is not configured, and it needs to be configured. Okay. So we will do the steps. I will show you how to configure the site server backup, and uh, we will even try to take one site server backup. Okay. So for that, uh, launch your ACCM console. Okay, go to start, click on configuration manager console. It will bring you the configuration console window. Uh, click on administration tab. Okay. Uh, click on sites. Site configuration. Sites. Okay. Right click on your site and you can see uh, one thing called site maintenance. So click on it. So this will show you all the site maintenance tasks. Okay. The first task is backup site server and you can see it's enabled as no. So we need to click on edit. And click enable this task so it will ask for a backup destination where you want to store it okay uh, let me see I'm just going to for this demo I'm just going to store it on my uh, local server okay I will create a folder called uh, backup maybe Uh, in production environment, uh, I recommended you to store it in your uh, sand storage, like NetApp or something. Okay, so I created the folder. So now I go back to the site server, backup site server properties, and click on set path. It's going to be on a local server. Okay. If you are storing on sand, then you need to give the network path. So I'm going to clear cross. Click see download, click backup. So this is where my backup will be stored. Okay. So it will start every day at 2 a.m. and get completed at 5 a.m. You can even enable the alerts for backup tasks if it fails. It will alert you and I have configured it to run every day it's always advisable to run every day so that uh, if any issue happens you can just restore the previous day backup okay click apply click ok so now you can see that the backup site server task is enabled and marked as yes click ok uh, so now uh, if you go and see on the C uh, folder, backup folder, nothing will be there. Uh, so we will try to run a backup and see. Uh, I will force, uh, force and run a backup. Uh, so for that, go to services. Okay. And there will be a service call as uh, ACCM site backup. So this is the service. Okay, the backup task will initiate uh, whenever the site server backup has to be uh, started. So we configured it to 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. So at night it will run. But now I want to uh, you know take an immediate backup. So I will click on start service. So 
so now my backup has started okay so now if I go to my backup folder you can see that the backup uh, files are getting created okay uh, it will take some time uh, how you can confirm that the backup has completed is that this task uh, service which is running it will again get stopped so it's still running oh it got stopped so hopefully backup has completed if backup doesn't happen then you need to troubleshoot and see why it's not happening you can see that uh, it has taken the backup of my database So this is how uh, you configure a site server backup and uh, uh, if you want to forcefully take a uh, uh, site server backup then you run this uh, service start this service and it will take the backup okay i hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching